Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude is back here with another beer ish. We have another hard kombucha. I just did a blood orange mint a couple of, uh, I think a couple days ago. This one here is the same company, June Shine. It's a hard kombucha, 6%, based in San Diego. Um, has a little story here about six, four friends having one purpose to quench thirst. Do a bunch of healthy, adventurous stuff to the spirit and also get it drunk. They don't mention that, but with 6%, you're probably going to get drunk. Ingredients, ginger, lemon, green tea, honey, and June kombucha. I see a lot of the June kombucha. I wonder if it's, that's um, the, the, the base that they're using, a kombucha that they have, and then they just add these, infuse it with these flavors. I, I don't know. I did see a video online, which is very corny. Uh, it didn't really talk about the beer. It kind of just showed a bunch of people uh, uh, surfing and stuff like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in here. Once again, I did mention a 6%. This is the honey, ginger, and lemon. I like all those ingredients. It smells like none of those. Actually, it does smell a little bit like ginger. The fruit. So let's pour this bad boy. Definitely a different color than the other one. This one has a little bit more of that. Anything, anytime you usually get something as ginger and like lemon, it has this color. It's like this, um, I think it's a neutral color that the color gods come and say, hey, you're going to add ginger lemon? It has to be that color. If it's not, then you can't use it. I don't smell lemon. I smell ginger. It smells like a light kind of probably a diet version of some type of ginger soda just very light uh. all right well let's try it it's murky it's that yellow kind of honey color it's almost this color here uh. all right let's go Hmm. Ooh, I like it. It's de definitely sour. Slight bitterness from probably lime or lime zest they might have used. It's less sour than the blood orange mint that I had uh, a couple days ago. In either one, you don't taste the alcohol. So that's one thing. You're not going to taste the alcohol. You do feel it eventually once you start drinking this, but you don't taste it, which is good. Um, right off the bat, it's it has a little ferment like uh, effervescent bubbles to it. You taste that little fermented funk that you kind of get in kombucha. It's almost like a spoiled fruit kind of a taste or aroma. Um, you get that ginger right off in the middle. The middle of the ginger comes out, and then the ginger kind of goes away, and the sourness comes in. This one doesn't hit that secondary sourness. It starts mid range, and it just kind of flows out with it. But it's a lot less. Uh, uh, it's a lot less, the, the strength is a lot less than the uh, Blood Orange Mint. The Blood Orange Mint was just, it had something that elevated in the second half, which kind of made it a little bit tart, too tart. And, I mean, I just don't know how um, how a person can kind of, like, I get it, 6%, right? But how many can a person drink of this, right? Like, what's the purpose? Is the purpose to kind of get you slightly, like, buzzed? And at the same time, uh, diary, I mean, uh... Uh, probiotics and beneficial bacteria in your stomach, which will help you digest your food and uh, give you uh, health in your uh, digestive system, aka make you go to the bathroom, because that's exactly what happened to me in the last one. Too much information, but yeah, uh, it's good. It's not bad. It, but like I said, you know, I'll enjoy it without the alcohol too. Like, it's not like I'm going to go to a bar and get a six pack and show up and everybody's just, I'm going to drink six of these bad boys. I'd probably be sick. That sourness is starting to build up. It stays about mid range. The ginger's there, nice in the background. This one's good. You don't even need sugar. Because, yeah, it might be slightly a little bit too. Uh, uh, a sour and a little tart, but it's not extremely tart like the blood orange mint, which kind of will balance it with some sugars. Body is medium to full. It's a little slick right now in my throat. I feel like a little 
kind of like slick mucusy almost like if there's like these hidden sugars in there obviously from the fermentation or the fruits the natural fruits but uh, it's good it's good it's good it's really good I'd probably add my own sugar to it maybe just a little bit right a quarter teaspoon or something uh, just to give it a little kick all right well that's the June shine hard kombucha San Diego California six percent alcohol by volume keep please keep refrigerated or it'll explode it doesn't say that but fermented beers or stuff that's like fermented uh kind of locally and or non-manufactured um yeah i mean all beer has living yeast in it uh, what keeps it dormant it's the lack of sugar and and the temperature but if you probably leave this in the heat that that those yeast will wake up and probably cause this can to expand for sure anyway this is not a science uh, channel. This is a channel where I drink stuff, share my experience so that you can have a good experience and not make the mistakes that I probably would make. Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out.